Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to change the appearance of a model in Onshape um, and I'll show you how to export the model as an image so you can use it in a publication. So I have a, a Gold Khan Academy model open here, so two parts, but it will work just the same on a single part model. So down in the left hand corner here, if you locate the part you're going to change the appearance of, uh, right click and then it's edit appearance is the command we're looking for. And that gives us a whole bunch of color options. So I can choose a color that's here. If I want to add a particular color, I can add in the RGB values um, as well. And uh, I can also add in hex numbers for, from um, web coloring. So you can choose certain colors, add your own custom colors, or use one of the ones that's here. Okay, that, and I've now got a, a green part one. Uh, the other thing you can do I right click and edit appearance on this other part here as well as changing the color we can change the transparency so if you had a part that was maybe glass or clear plastic you can make it transparent uh, as well as color it and then that is going to have transparent properties so that when we export it as an image we'll be able to see through that part so once you're happy um, other things we can do just to make it a little bit more realistic we can turn perspective on so over here on the little cube drop down arrow Turn perspective on. Um, and that's going to give us two points of uh, two vanishing points, so it's a little bit more realistic. And also, if you want, you can again same drop down arrow, hide the edges. So obviously, a part doesn't actually have lines around the corners. Depending on what you're going to use your image for, you may want to leave them on. That's up to you. When you're happy with the image, get it at the view that you like. So a view that you maybe would be a bit realistic, not obviously looking right down unless that's what you want. Um, if it's a big object looking up, get whatever view you're happy with. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to use the print command. So over here, the hamburger button, there's three lines and print. Uh, so ordinarily, this would be our piece of paper that we would print it on. Uh, anything that's outside that will not be printed. We're actually going to download the image. So as long as what we've got is inside, that's fine. If you need to move it or you could change your orientation, um, whatever you need to do. Once you're happy, download. This is going to download as a um, PNG, which means it's going to record the transparent parts of our model. So now that's downloaded, if I go to uh, a blank um, slide here in Google Slides, I can insert that image, the one I've just downloaded, and I drop that in there. And you can see that as well as the white background that we had in Onshape, that's gone. It's not, it's not saved that. And this part here that we made semi-transparent is see-through. We can see through that part. So it's quite a useful way of capturing an image from Onshape of, of a model to use now in some sort of poster.